And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin Stage. She. That chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast banger, episode. Smash banger, that like banger, button. Smash banger, that banger, notification banger, button. Bang! Bang! Bangers just for you. Me. Uh, church announcements next week. Next week. Next week. Berlin. London. Question mark. Paris. Question mark. Not looking likely. We oui, we. Oui. No, we we. How do they say no in Paris? No, 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 no. The bed bug infestation <laughs> is. Infested it's a little us, too much. You better ask there. them big bugs about we've some been, tickets. We've been getting, listen, we've been getting so many people who were like, bro, can you please cancel? I'm not coming. I had tickets. I'm not coming. I was going to buy tickets. I'm not coming. Oh, no. This show is already hard to sell. But these doggone bed bugs. And then basically they talking about trains in from London to pay. Once you cross you know over what? into France, the bugs like, yeah, niggas bug over here. Ever since, ever since on, that guy posted that TikTok about how dirty Paris, uh, Paris actually uh-huh. was. Paris has been having a rough time since. Been having a de-escalation. And you know I'd be like, I, I listen. We oui, we. Oui. I'd be money, like, money, oui, and oui. I done been to Paris already, so it ain't. I could never go again, and I would. I, yeah. I, I like going new places. New places. So London, y'all know I love y'all. There ain't no bed bugs down you can. No hope not. Hope Berlin, not. you know them Germans don't play them bugs. They said nah. What's no one German? No. Nine. Nine. I think it's you nine. need to take them plastic uh, travel sheets that you can throw away. I, I am doing that. Yeah, Taking everything. Exactly. And I'm also I'm putting a plastic suit on. As you should. So uh, if you have tickets to Paris, check your email because I didn't already sent it to my agents. Uh, it was like, probably not. Angel, what you got going on in your life? Mark your calendars for October 20th. If you're on my Patreon, you can mark your calendar for October 19th. Mm. Collaboration with that chick angel in the hoop mob as you can see if you're watching i have on these amazing glasses from my collection some earrings called uh, the raptress <laughs> you see it you got a bracelet says that chick because every person can be that chick my other hoops they're called the viral hoops listen there is 10 pieces in this collection Did you design them uh no they designed them and i approved them i told them i wanted color oh i got on my chain it's the margarita chain oh. i mean everything is so just swagged out over here and everything's affordable so october 20th market that. calendars uh hoop mob black owned business owned by a black woman single mom killing the game nice nice nine not nine we not like nine it. the opposite <laughs> all right so to, to pop things off tia maori one of the beloved Maori sisters. Mm-hmm. She was on the Twitter, she and was. she he, she doesn't had enough. Yeah, she All said, right. "Shut up." Well, no, she didn't. Right. She, she kept so, talking. I feel like if, let me understand. Let me set the stage if, I, if I'm correct. So I think she had said like basically dating is hard, uh-huh. right? And this is her, this what she said in this uh, this set of tweets is a response to that. And the sentiment that I believe she got back was like, that's why you should have stayed married. Mm. You should have stayed married then. That's why you should have stayed married. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So she had time. Yeah, she did. She a lot had of it. time. Yeah. Whatever she was doing, she, she had time to date. So she tweeted, it. just because the dating life is complicated doesn't mean I'm going to go back. See, let me just. Let, yeah, pause. we want to go back and forth, first of all. Okay, like let's it. go back and forth. Okay. Well, I just want to say something. This is why. Elon trying to rename it X is stupid because you can't say she just X'd or she X'd. Yeah, it's dumb. Tweeted is... She, is she, no, no, it's she <laughs> <laughs> It's so stupid. Yeah. You On Twitter, you tweet. And this if you didn't tw- before, you tweeted. Listen. You can't say on X, you X. And if you did in the past, you X'd. That's just stupid. What if it's like, called you go- Twitter. All right. Because just like Puff Daddy P. Diddy. You still put in Twitter.com. Yes. X is going to pop up. Just annoying. Anyway, that's my own side frustration. Let it out, kid. Who are you? Uh, I think you should be Tia. Okay. Just because the dating life is complicated doesn't mean I'm going to go back to something that no longer served me. That's like saying if I don't book an audition, our uh, part. Or. I believe it was or. Okay. She, she wrote our. But uh-huh. I believe it was or. That's like saying if I don't book an audition or a part right away, I'm going to give up on my dreams as an actor. Please just stop. I ain't that weak. Mm. Please move on because I have. Thank you. Next. This is an emotional response. Stay grounded, love. No, boo-boo. This is my response to stop narratives being said about me. Like 
you. Don't speak on my behalf. Thank you. You are not me. So just stop, please. Someone is feeling hurt over their ex today? Huh? Old grumpy A-S-S? Laughing emoji, laughing emoji? Sound nah, I do, yeah, I think you could really say it. Nah, happy as a camper. Thanks for trying to speak for me, though. Deuces. That's a lot to say, especially at 6 a.m. I would never address this publicly, and I know we all handle things in our own way, but gad dog, I would be too focused on my life and my kids to comment on my ex-husband slash their father. Boo-boo, I'm in Europe traveling the world, so it ain't 6 a.m. Also, you ain't me either, so I think it's best to stop projecting your life onto mine. Focus on you, not me. Next, prayer hands. Oh, BTW, I'm not projecting. I have two children, and I'm happily married, but I would never post anything like that online because of my children. I wish you nothing but the best, Tia. Yeah, the, tweet, the tweet she responded to is not here. But she was like, you are not famous. Right. She, she surely did. <laughs> say, you are not famous. I am. She's like, I no, have no, to speak. Nobody cares about your little life. And the girl responded, well, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, you know, I hate that. I am a fan. So uh, love you. <laughs> it's all love. Oh, my God. I didn't think you'd actually respond. Ah! It's so funny. It's I, so. I, now, the little light flex. I'm in Europe. <laughs> oh. Or it's not 6 a.m. Okay, me, just because where you are, things are where you are. Yeah, and I do hate. I forgot. Like, you got to understand that Tia's life is different than yours. A hundred people percent. regardless and forget that. She, oh, this I would never do that. Well, you don't have her life. You don't have blogs. She's been famous since she was a child. Literally, though I'm a child and I may not know <laughs> very much. She she was a baby. What were they yes. like? Nine? They were young as hell. Just sister, sister. Yes, yeah, they sister, were babies. Sister. They were in a group and make me say, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know that? I didn't come across my timeline. The whole Was this part of the show or separate? Around. Before the show. Before the show, they were in a group. Yes, a singing group. Did not know that. Beyonce sang it at the concert, at her birthday concert. I saw that. I didn't know where that came. I thought it was from an episode. I cried because of it. I said. <laughs> they released music for real? Yes. Didn't know. My whole world. All I know is they go had home, a, Roger. They had a Disney 360 deal, man. They were going to do everything yeah. in their power to milk <laughs> yes. every dime. Jackie Harry, I believe What's him. Uh, I don't remember what channel was on. But either way, been Disney. she has been famous for a long time. And I'd be like, people who are not highly visible, you, they don't have the, they don't have gossip blogs Why being like, about them? now Tasha and her husband is going through it. Like their gossip <laughs> blogs is, is local town Facebook. I want you to know that somebody, this is why I don't go over there, but it's very funny. Uh, somebody, I'm trying to find, oh, it looks like they might have erased it. Somebody tagged me in a tweet, and I was just like, oh, wow, that was so nice of you. Let me see if I can find it. Um, they said, um, dang it, they did erase it. Oh, you punk bitch. <laughs> You just want to take why are you talking all that trash you got a screenshot of and Angel. then you want to erase it uh Someone's somebody said people like uh sexy red sukiana and that chick angel oh, oh you, no and angel the actress because it's twitter oh have destroyed rap <laughs> you are a destroyer of rap you're I in said, with sexy red you are in with sexy red and that's what's wrong with our community people like angel all this sexual rap destroy the community i was like i responded oh my goodness i did not know i was that powerful <laughs> this is freaking amazing i didn't know you were this you're gonna be with xxl one freshman song. one song one song with one, one summer. margarita destroyed it there was a little black boy on his way to gifted and talented program he heard your song he even committed a crime oh absolutely he pulled out a gun he, a gun just fell out of the earth your song sent a gun to him he caught it he did heroin <laughs> yeah. with the gun and then pop 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 and he was in jail he was like i would have never did this if i didn't have hit them one margarita lyrics in my brain forget the black community forget. vote for trump I was like, wow, I had no idea. Like, I've been holding back my power. Didn't even know. I had Community the, Wrecker? You're not just I had a home wrecker. Stone. <laughs> I said, boom, and killed them all. 
destroyed the rap game. Like, did they yeah. just come at you out of nowhere? Yes, it was just a rant. You, every once in a while, I go to check, and there was the at the top of my notifications. I said, "Oh, <laughs> you up there with the top dogs of destroying the rap community?" I said, "Well, thank you, Sexy Red and Sukiana." They needed multiple songs to destroy it. I'm sorry, <laughs> ladies. I'm way more powerful. One song, huh? Also, Coochie Pink. I just want to make a quick aside. So, unfortunately, Sexy Red had a uh, sex tape leaked. Uh, what's that? The revenge porn. It's, I think it was revenge porn. But it was it in was her a sex stories. Tape leak. No, the nigga took her phone and posted it on I her know, phone. I know. I know. I know. Right. So I feel bad, and that's terrible. You shouldn't do that. It's awful, awful, and also. Uh, uh, her be her having sexy lyrics, sex related lyrics, does not equal the she should this should happen to her. Right, right. That's borderline rape culture thinking. Absolutely. Not borderline. Very, like, that absolutely. Is oh, rape that's what culture. you. That, that's what you get. Like you, you can rap about music. Is music? It's art. Angel's not telling you to drink five, five margaritas and get pegged. Right. No. If you do, it's because she destroys the black community. Yes. Right. So she doesn't deserve that. You can make whatever <laughs> song you yes. want. And that doesn't mean you deserve somebody doing your thing, do, uh, doing that to to your uh, uh, invading your privacy and putting something private out on the Internet. Come on, mm. be for real. But also yeah, there was a lot of men who were like her coochie ain't even pink. It's brown on the outside. I said, oh, y'all tell on yourself. Y'all tell on yourself <laughs> every day. Stop yeah. it. Y'all, Josh, Stop the it. amount of niggas on Twitter was like, it look brown to me. I said, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I oh, don't know. They ain't my been God. putting it in no coochie. Y'all ain't if seen it's, none. If it's been stayed brown, you didn't put it somewhere else. You don't know. You ain't. <laughs> that's like when uh, Steve Carell was on a uh, 40 year old version. He was like, what did the boots feel like? He was like, you know, sand feels like sand. <laughs> yes, they were like, like sand. a bag of sand. Like, wait, you ain't never touched no titty. He's like, I have. I have. That's how you know. If you, you thought the outside of a black girl's coochie was pink. You yes. thought a melanated body. Yeah. The outside was pink. The they door, y'all some incels. Yeah, y'all oh, 100%. y'all done they ain't had no sex. You've been beating that meat into oblivion and and right into a uh, apple pie. That's what they didn't <laughs> put it in. They ain't definitely ain't put they, they it ain't pink. That is the dumbest thing. Somebody on here was like, she also said she backed Trump. Luckily, I'm not getting my political advice from now. Listen, sexy red guys. I mean, guys, no. <laughs> just stop it. Let's be. Angel didn't say sexy red before we get her on the song. <laughs> what are her political opinions? What, what do you think about our past president? Sh- <laughs> sexy red probably ain't even old enough to vote twice. No, you, you know what? She sh- prob- let me, how old is she? she? Has she been able to she vote? She ain't twice? no way she voted for two presidents. She she can't be more than 23. Yeah, she, I doubt she's 26. So, yeah, you're right. She's probably only had the opportunity to vote in one presidential she's election. 25. Sexy red says she, yeah. she's 25. That's. Oh, she might have been able to. No, you can't vote at 17, can you? Well, 18 and she voted at 18 and 22. She could have voted twice. Depending oh, on when she turned 18. 18. Yeah, depending on when she turned mm-hmm. 18. Uh, also, uh, Sexy Red was like, Trump, <laughs> Trump gave me stimulus money. That's why I like him. There you I go. I said, baby. <laughs> somebody tweeted, all he did is take the money from your pocket and put it put in it your back. hand. <laughs> Listen, Don't she's matter. like. And you see it in my hand. And you didn't even check on that before you put her up on your song. Surely and that's didn't. where you destroy the black community. Ski. Yes, exactly. <laughs> if you if see you me can. and you try to see what's up. Ski. And me and I'm all that stuff. Listen. <laughs> People are good for what they good if for. If you're getting your political advice from Ski, <laughs> yes. then you is wrong. Hellcat and 13 niggas want to put me. And so also, <laughs> the political climate in America there you go. is changing. There Why you don't go. you ski eat your butt right into the voting booths? That's what's wrong with y'all today. <laughs> okay? I'm Sexy Red. And we forget the presidents. What's wrong with y'all is y'all don't vote in the local elections. Exactly. That's where y'all mess That's up. That's where it ski starts. <laughs> about your congressman, huh? About your councilman. <laughs> Hellcat SRT. What is the proposition? 14. Let's talk about that. Hellcat SRT, why don't you come and vote for me? Yeah. Come yeah. on, sexy red. That's what sexy we need. red for her alderman. Yes. <laughs> when she says I uh, need my coochie to breathe, she's talking about women's rights. Reproductive rights. I am Alderman and I approve this message. <laughs> Ski oh ye. Shake God. your dreads, shake your dreads, shake your dreads <laughs> to the Crown Act. <laughs> this is the real platform. Y'all are distracted. 
by the coochie shots. My name may be Sexy Red, but it's the Green New Deal. <laughs> free my baby daddy and let's have free public education for college. Free my baby daddy. And while you're at it, let's talk about the carceral system <laughs> and the school to prison pipeline. I am Sexy Red. <laughs> you guys don't vote in the local elections. I and you tell on yourself <laughs> every day. I was born by the river. I was shaking that ass. <laughs> Bending over popping pussy. I was making it clap. I was an entrepreneur. And we want to talk about this gigster oh, <laughs> economy. And that's why too much government in your business is bad. <laughs> that's why I listen to Fox W Sexy Red. Because I am looking for political advice from a trusted source. <laughs> She's an advocate of vision coverage. Exactly. Medicare. Every time I see what it is. Right there. That glass is man right free health care for all. I'm sexy red. Include the vision and dental. Yes. I can't see myself not voting. <laughs> <laughs> my coochie pink, my booty hole brown, my ink is black because I'm voting every day. <laughs> Join me, sexy red, and ski your butt down to the polls. <laughs> she said, y'all, come on, scream for me. Oh. Vote yes. Go ahead and ski ye into that little <laughs> ballot booth, please. I don't know why anybody else would be listening to Fox. I mean, Sexy Red, other than to vote. You should also listen to uh, Sexy Red because she believes in mental health. Okay? Amen. Okay, because that's really what Hellcat SRT is about. It's about self-care right there. And we want to tell you about that <laughs> with Talkspace. <laughs> Sometimes people wait until something bad has happened to talk to a therapist why wait you can get a therapist through Talkspace therapy can help you shift your perspective find tools to cope in difficult times and be a guiding light getting started is imp uh, an important part Talkspace makes it easy and affordable with Talkspace you can sign up online and get matched with a provider that's right for you typically within 48 hours it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort on your, of your home there's no need to commute to appointments miss time at work or line up child care in order to attend sessions it's mental health care made easy um i have been doing therapy for about a year and it has been revolutionary in my life um especially when it comes to really getting my thoughts in order and being able to truly like navigate the things i want in life i didn't wait until i was going through trauma you should definitely have therapy if you're going through trauma but therapy is also a useful tool for everyday life especially when it comes to getting out of your own way and dealing with any issues that are keeping you from having the life that you really want to have um and i know that talk space is such a great tool to do that because it's so convenient and like they said you can do it from anywhere you don't have to commute and you're able to get matched with the therapist fast. So as a listener of this podcast, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To get matched with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. I'm sorry I took us so far off topic because we were talking about Tia. No, I, I don't have much more to say unless you do. Uh, no, you know, I love me some Tia. I just I was happy that she broke out of the like, I must remain calm. Like she, she, she fired back a little bit. Oh yeah. She's feisty right now. She's feisty right now. And also you, you shouldn't let like, l let's l use logic here. Right. Just because I mean, like it's really, she said it, but if you are unhappy in your marriage, and you also struggle in the dating scene. That doesn't mean you wanted to go back to your marriage. Absolutely That's, not. That, the, the, you know what it is, honestly, that uh, social media realizes? There's so many um, logic fallacy arguments. Uh-huh. That that's one plus one equals cheeseburger. You better you better talk about some <laughs> logic fallacies. Sir, well, look at you and your smartness. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. It really is. The straw man is the number one on social media. Like angels, if angel says whatever, the, I don't want to go down to logic fallacy. No, argument. I want it. Come on, give it. Straw man yeah. argument is like the number one on on Twitter, especially. Tell People love to is. say straw man argument is where you create something and say, okay, so angel says, um, Kev, um, I want to raise, mm -hmm. right? 
she says, Kev, I want to raise, I want a 10% raise because I did X, Y, and Z. And I will say, well, then are you saying that I should have to sell my house? Like, no, mm. you're saying I have to sell my house. In order, in order to give you a raise, I have to sell my house. Mm -hmm. So you want me to sell my house. Mm -hmm. The straw man argument is creating something that your opponent did not say mm -hmm. just so you can easily tear it down. Well, nobody want me to sell my house in order to give you a raise. That's crazy. That's stupid. No, that's, that is, but that's not what she said. Politicians do this a lot, yeah. but, but everybody on Twitter, mm -hmm. you take one thing and, and, and I think this was a false equivalency. Yes. That, That's what they said. Straw man is called that because it's easy to knock down a straw man. Like you create ah, a man out of straw, okay. you knock it down. False equivalency is probably number two mm -hmm. on social media, which is, I believe this one, if I'm not mistaken, you were unhappy in your marriage. You got divorced. You're also struggling to date. Therefore you should go back and be married and unhappy. Mm -hmm. No, everybody who's dating for the most part says dating is a struggle. Mm -hmm. She has the added, uh, problem of fame. Yeah. And also, I don't believe, she, I believe she was married for a minute. Oh, yeah. She right? was married. And she was into the high teens of being Okay, yeah. so the total landscape in dating has changed tremendously mm. since she was out there. 100%. Right? So anybody, like the chance of her leaving her marriage and falling into perfect bliss yes. with the next person. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. And that's not because she's famous. That could be anybody. You married 15 years, you get a divorce right now, and you've never had a dating uh, app I mean, on your phone? I mean, niggas be doing it all the time. Finding love? I think they find coochie. I don't know if they find love. No, but they be getting, well, it's the niggas I'm talking about are mainly pastors. Oh. Well, well I don't know. <laughs> pastors going to have it lined up. <laughs> Speaking of pastors, we might as well go down. I thought we would talk about this on the bonus because it was further down, but this pastor went viral. And I want, I've, since you said that, oh, okay. I'm gonna jump pastor? down. Which one? This is far down the bonus. Mm -hmm. All right, but this was going viral. Uh, da, 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 da. Listen to this pastor. This is pretty long, but please. All he wanted is sex. What you thought we was here for? <laughs> Hold on. He said, I'm sick of women. I'm so sick of women talking about all he wanted is sex. What you thought we was here for? <laughs> a man does not want sex. A man needs sex. Yeah. Right. And there's a difference. Per what one milliliter of sperm is between 50 and 200 million sperm cells in one milliliter. Mm -hmm. There's a potential between 50 million and 200 million people swimming around in one milliliter. Come on. And God has created a man to dispel that seed. Furthermore, it's the woman who take a hiatus all every month from sex, not the man. A man can stay on from the time he lives to the time he dies. I'm trying to tell you is, if you put a worm in the water, if you put a hook in the water, you don't put no worm on it, you don't get no fish. That, so just, just a quick size. <laughs> you will put a hook in the water with no worm, you don't get no fish. Okay, so is the hook the coochie? Is, where, is the fish the dick? What, where? <laughs> Who, what? I don't know what is what. He sped up at the end because it wasn't making no sense. You put the hook in the water and warm it. Hey, you ain't going to get no fish. fish. Now you're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a fish fry on Friday. All right, here we go. This is the worm. That's the worm on the hook. What's the worm? Breast, booty, thighs, hips. Ain't no man in history ever saw a woman across the room and said, oh my God, her heart is sparkling. <laughs> Every man is attracted to a woman sexually. Every man. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's your job to show him that it's more to you than what's on the hook. It's your job to show him that you got something in between your ears. It's your job to show him that you're not as easy like everybody else. How do y'all want us to do the work for you? I just want a man to see me from my inside when you're going to be waiting room for the rest of your full life because ain't no man going to see you from your inside till you show him the inside. Let's be my God. Let's be God. For what we see. Period. Point blank. Get over it. Y'all come out sleeping, pasties on here and all this stuff, and they don't want about it, look at you, don't want about it, to sexually objectify you. Why? Amen. What you thought we was going to do? What you put it on for if you didn't want to be objectified by it? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to be identified by your breast and your tail and all that stuff, then what you advertising it? Oh. And then get mad when we pull up to the ball going to buy it. Oh, 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 Did I get the breast and die? So he won't, but he can get from you anyway. Yeah. Amen, amen. So then you'll go do it. Now it's all about 
liberation and about freedom of expression. What are you expressing exactly? Yeah. Come on, I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all lying to yourself. I dress like this for me. You dress like that for you. Lie. If you dress like that for you, that means you go sleep like that. All right, so oh. it continues on like that. Now I sent this to Melissa, and I was like, "Had you seen this?" And she said, "Yes." And then she said this, and I want to read it to you. Oh, please. She said. Text a lot. Okay. Uh -huh. She said, yes. Church women internalize misogyny more than men. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. all them amens. And I didn't hear it's one women. man in the background say, yeah, pastor. Mm -hmm. I want the inside of the, of the coochie. Yeah, they were all like, it was uh -huh. all women. Yeah. Well, first of all, where are the men? Come on now. At church? They're not is, there. Is it for Sunday? It's the drummer. If, the, if it's not for Sunday, <laughs> the piano we player. bless his name. <laughs> we love his name, Jesus. All right, men. Otherwise, we don't be here no other days. So you know that... To your point, yeah. black church is probably 90%. Oh, absolutely. Probably 90% women. Yeah. yeah. Right? Who's that? I know. I heard it. Courtney, she's, oh. On, she's on the meeting. Oh, she's on the phone. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. No. And they really are like, uh huh. That's y'all say it. Pastor. And they're gonna go and tell their daughters that. Yes. You over there with your booty hole pink and your and Gucci brown. Don't every man want you for sex? <laughs> and so you need to know that, and it's your job to make them want you for other things, but also don't show it off, even though that's the hook in the worm. Don't show the hook in the worm. You gotta show them your brain. Let me ask Pastor what he mean. <laughs> <laughs> it don't make no damn sense. It don't. It don't. No. And we really be like. And listen, let me tell you what. Quiet is kept. I done heard that type of thing all my natural life in church. Mm. And I used to be like, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> three, That's right. Every three days. <laughs> I heard many a pastor preacher. And you better give them to him every three days. Mm. You better lay down and be nice. If you don't give it to him, somebody else will. I used to be like, this is great. I don't have to do anything in this equation. <laughs> the Lord said it here. All I got to do is provide. I ain't got the love on it. You turn down and give it to him. I don't care if you got to lay on your stomach and look away and cry. You give him some. I was like, this, this, we are, there's nothing expected of us. <laughs> Just go to work. But she also goes to work too. And, uh, uh -huh. and, and but, also cook and clean. And rear them children. All of it. Give up that. Is this the color purple? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me that ceiling love. Because <laughs> we got sperm. We got uh, 50 million, 25,365 sperm in one little milliliter. And you want me to hold on to that? I got to. Well, you got a depository? I don't care what's in your head. I'm going to give you off during your bleeding. <laughs> I'm going to give you off and I'm going to go to my mistress during that time. Y'all better like, not sync up. That's. <laughs> And it's the woman that got to take the week off, not the man. <laughs> and that the woman got to I go every day. <laughs> I ain't got to take it off. No, nah, I don't. I now mean, listen, I don't take off. I'm not finna body shame or be fat for man sitting over three Honda. Oh. Well north. Oh yeah. Well north three Honda. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And y'all got to take care of yourself. Oh yeah. But when that man lay up on top of you, you got to hold him and gird him. Yeah. Well, I'm well north. <laughs> well North 300 Well North and Well North About to kill you <laughs> But you gonna get this Because the Lord Wants you to have it Pour sweat all over you That's sexy <laughs> <laughs> Sexy Don't no man Want your heart It was so funny Be stupid And dress up But don't show yourself But give the butt Without question But don't <laughs> act like you want it But you better know you want it Be stupid But smart Inside your brain Don't leave with that Don't nobody want a smart woman He wants a dumb woman With a coochie But be smart Underneath the dumb Yes pastor Be able to fish Yes fish You got the breast Titties and thighs Why am I gonna buy it When you give the cow for free Get the why you want the milk Buy back Baka baka Don't be chicken Give yeah. up that but give up the butt. <laughs> Even listen, this is what's great. In his analogy, <laughs> in his analogy of the of your body being the hook in the in the worm. <laughs> what the the fish eats the worm. How is that a good situation for me? What, like where in, where in this does this sound like Angel, a good deal? You're a woman. Angel, you who have cares? No this. Who cares about what's good for you? <laughs> so I get eaten. You yes, you are bait. 
let me <laughs> shit you out before the world fries me up. Let's take all free. Oh, <laughs> my God. I, I just, and on top of that, you right, Casey. And you better about not be using that vibrator. Oh, no, no. It's not and about your it. pleasure. And now we want to talk about that. And you better not be coming either. <laughs> If oh, I don't make it come, you sin. don't deserve it. No, that's a sin. That's the problem is your vibrator, your little rose is your friend. Now, a man can't even please you. You see? Because you done that jacked it up. That's <laughs> that lesbonic spirit. You done jacked that coochie up. It's all high off of rose. You got the part of the butt in mm -hmm. and the sucking part all on. And now he don't know what to do. He well north. See, uh, uh, that's that rose of Sharon. Sharon, another woman. Lesbons. How you done, two hooks? How you, two hooks in a worm? What y'all gonna do? Ain't no but worm. be tangled. Hooks yeah, in a worm. That's good. Hooks in a worm. Women shouldn't be preaching, but you're talking good. Right. You need a fish to come in there and get you apart, <laughs> and maybe the fish will have both of you. One during the week and one on the weekend. Amen. Amen. Let's take offering. <laughs> you're up there soaking it up. Yes, hey, Pastor. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deserve pleasure. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is just, I just, <sighs> it makes it so difficult. It makes it, and you want me, and y'all want me to sit up and, and listen to that. I, <laughs> I done, all I would have been doing is, I can't wait to post this. <laughs> this man crazy. I wouldn't be able to get to that point. I would be, <laughs> boo. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And this is what we really be. I can't. I, I just, I, my heart hurts so bad. It does. I was watching this video. Uh, it looked like a church that was, had to be overseas. I'm assuming Africa, someplace where the black diaspora is plentiful. And the way the women were praising them, it almost looked or dancing, worshiping, yeah. whatever. It almost looked like a twerk. Their butts were moving really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. two women near the camera, and then there was a woman far off. So I was like, and there was a lot of people. The men aren't even paying attention. So no. you can tell <laughs> this is not what we do in America. No! And everybody was like, this is the church of Satan. <laughs> Ain't no way. First of all, I don't know what I. They, they might not have been Christian at all. I have no idea. But the fact that everybody was like, "God is not to be mocked," mm -hmm. in the comments, this is hell and damnation. <laughs> the, 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 the Lord and I was like, "Wow." Yes, they were in all white, and they were in all white, and that's what everybody said. It's a cult. It's a cult. And I was like, "We don't know at all what this is." If I don't know it, it's a cult. You understand? <laughs> well, the way I grew up, if you weren't, if it wasn't our exact church. You they, the rest is hell. If, if they're not PAW apostolic, double hell. Culture people, blech. I, I was like, I was like, do y'all wait a minute? We have no context, but everybody was like, Church of Satan, burning in hell. I was like, it doesn't even it doesn't look like anybody's being aroused by them dancing, first of all. <laughs> it almost seems like this is second nature. Like nobody is paying attention. But I was like, we only see things through the context of what we believe is right. Huh? That's good. Yeah, we do. That's it's true. like, oh, well, that's not what I know to be right, so it has to be wrong. And you know what? I just, I get so heartbroken every time. I just want to turn off. I don't want to see no comments no more. I've been thinking about that. I don't, I want to, can I turn off the comments on other people's posts? You know who we are. We're Kevin Hart and 40 year version. I don't understand what you're saying, so I'm going to take it as disrespect. <laughs> if I don't understand what's in this video, it's hell in a cult. Okay? I don't get it. I don't like the way that makes me feel. I'm confused. <laughs> Therefore, instead of studying this, hell, hell, cult. That's so much Whew, easier, quicker. This is now. I'm Nobody back has to be time a for this. <laughs> Nobody has time to be googling stuff. That takes too long. Just like I don't have time to research life insurance. That's no. why I'm so glad that there's policy genius. Okay, and it's really important to have life insurance, especially if you got children like I do. Especially if you got people who who uh, you are responsible for in your income in their life is important. Okay, if you got loved ones who depend on you. Why leave anything up to chance in the worst case scenario? Life insurance gives your family a safety net that can cover expenses so they don't have to worry about money while getting back on their feet. Luckily, Policy Genius makes finding the right policy simple. Their team of licensed experts are on hand to help talk you through it. Listen, if the Lord were to take me from this earth, my household would be in shambles. Do you understand me? <laughs> 
shambles from big markets down to Lottie Dottie. Okay. The dog, dog, everybody will be in disarray. Everyone will be upset. They'll be vomiting. There'll be a lot of things going wrong, but you know what they ain't got to worry about is money because your girl went to policy genius and made sure. Listen, what y'all not going to have to worry about if I ever leave this earth is figuring out how y'all going to pay these bills, how this house is getting paid off, and how the boys are going to college because it is all going to be taken care of. Where are we? Come on. And that is a gift that keeps on giving. Policy Genius made it so simple because, to be honest, navigating life insurance is very, very difficult. In my opinion, you don't know how much coverage you're supposed to have, but being able to talk to the Policy Genius agent, they were able to help me find the right insurance policy so that I can feel comfortable moving forward. Even if you've already have life insurance policy through your work, it may not be offered uh, enough protection for your family needs and it may not follow you if you leave your job. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Woo! Some options wow. offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius knows how valuable your time is. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. Policy Genius has licensed award winning agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone who has people who depend on them. They simplify the process of getting life insurance so you can protect the people you love. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head to policygenius.com or click on the link in the description to get your free life insurance uh, quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. All right. Now, uh, I, I'm sorry, Patreon people. Oops. I'm supposed to be uh, shouting y'all out, and I'm, I'm trying to do better, but I remember this one. Ariana Simple sent this. She said, can y'all talk about Kevin Gates spitting in a fan's mouth on stage? I'm going to spare y'all the video. And I would, if I were you, I wouldn't look it up. Now, let me just say... <clears throat> I get it, like for a lot of people, mm -hmm. freakiness, sexy, spit is a thing. For me, Kevin, spit is disgusting mm -hmm. under any circumstance, any circumstance mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. a, a, a stranger, Kevin Gates, anyone, Mm -hmm. Any any person on earth mm -hmm. spitting in your mouth. No, yeah, there's nothing. No, that it, it, the, your mouth contains so much bacterial. bacteria. Bacterial. I mean, your your dental health is connected to your heart health. Come on, you don't take care of your teeth, you could have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, no. People don't be flossing. They no. don't brushing. People don't yeah. be brushing. They don't be tongue scraping. They could have gingivitis, they could hepatitis. Have a, they could have a herp in there. Anything. Mm -hmm. She She's with child. The spit could have went down. That mm -hmm. baby's like, got into the bloodstream. Uh-huh, you right. Got into the baby and was like, you gonna rap and you gonna be crazy. Or gingivitis. Or hearing loss. There are, there are a lot of things that can happen in utero with diseases. Why? If if Janet Jackson, Janet Jackson used to call people on stage. And she used to gyrate on top of them. She called me on stage. She was gyrating. I'd be like, wow, wow, this is crazy. It's crazy. She was like, open your mouth. I'm about to spit. I'd be like, girl, <laughs> are you crazy? What? No. No. Yeah. There's no woman. Melissa. Yeah, baby, yeah. Open your mouth. I'm going to spit. Uh, Melissa, come on. I don't want to do this no more. Mm -mm. I, I don't. I can't you, even use Melissa's toothbrush. Don't use you, mine. You said stay away from me like that. Your mouth. Now, I will lick stuff. That's why I said spit in all things. Spit, are for me, don't do not do that. I will throw up. Oh, spit in mouth. Yes. Disgusting. Spit in mouth. That's yes, that. I'm not going to say what else I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. But your husband. I still don't want him spitting in my mouth. I'm not, ain't, I'm not at that level of kink. 
there is I don't need that much. I'm not that bored with the level that we're at that I'm like, let's try something new. <laughs> spit at me. I would uh, <laughs> I will slap the spit out your mouth before you get to spit on me. I don't know what possesses a person to go to that level. There's a lot of bodily fluids that I don't want near me. I saw a video of some, you know, it was Wahite people <laughs> at a, a festival. And this woman began to spray her breast milk at people. And somebody was like, ah. oh yes, I said, do we? What? Did we talk about the the <laughs> girl who was performing and peed on one of the fans? Oh, we oh, did. Remember yes, that? The yes. rock girl. Yes. Ugh. And she Lord. peed. Oh, that was a horse's that pee stream. That was like road trip. She was yeah. like, I've been, <laughs> I've been saving this for eight that weeks. That is like a, pee a child stinks. pissing in the bed type nah, of pee. Nah, man. There was a fire hose in her drawers. What happened? What we'll gets you to that point? I don't know what type of boredom. Breast milk on command? Oh, you just squeeze. Why do you do that at a music festival, though? She's like, I didn't get the pump. I'm going to just work this in. Because I know they get engorged and it hurts if yeah, you don't I pump. I don't think hers were engorged. I thought she, I think she thought this is a great party trick. <laughs> that don't. When that, I tell it'd be over for me. Mm -hmm. The festival is over. Michael yeah. Jackson could have been risen from the dead <laughs> doing Thriller. Breast milk got on my arm. All right, Mike. I oh, really wish I oh, could stay. I'm fighting you. I really wish I could stay. <laughs> I am a breastfeeding advocate. <laughs> but let me tell you, I, your titty milk better not ever touch me. Not you personally. No, not as it's coming out of your titty. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> I don't know what, I mean, everybody has their different kinks and their different levels of like <laughs> what they're willing to do. I don't know how you get to that level. Mm -mm. I don't. I really don't. It, and I don't know what happened in their life to make them be so bored. I'm like, what level of just nastiness do you have to get to for you to be like, well, I guess spit and piss is the next level for me. And listen, when we when we had Shamira on here, there's some kink stuff that people do. I Who's Shamira? Shamira is the sexologist from New Orleans. Okay. World's greatest accent, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just say people be doing a lot. People be liking scat play. I was going to say scat play. I, I wasn't even trying to say I, the word. Oh. Yes, yeah, scat. You, you say doodle all the time. No, no, scat, just, scat is what takes you off the table? First of all, it makes me think of a cat. Scat is animal feces. It makes me... That's what makes me think of like a cat. <laughs> Somebody says scat man. Yo. Feed out of beer. Yeah, no. Uh, spitting in somebody's mouth is not an experience that I want to. Like once, if you are my baby and I birthed you and you are still an infant, yeah. a child, I can deal with your drool. It does not bother me. Right. But. As soon as you start cutting teeth, I'm hey, starting listen. to be like, hey, now, you're hey an all-star. You're an all-star. <laughs> <laughs> do not, do not, uh-uh. But adult spit, that mm. just, mm. woo -hoo! All right, let's move on to Marcus's favorite artist. Oh, you must be talking about Drake. Drizzy Drake. Drizzy Drake hey, has, a, the tide is a changing on Drizzy Drake. He released a new album for all the dogs. Uh, and um, you know what? Down to the Twitters, not received well. Really? Not received. I, listen, I'm going to be honest. I The last Drake album I turned on was Views. I got through about four tracks, and I just, I literally turned it off. I tried to listen and that was to the, the one last with the pregnant women on the front. And I, Certified I, lover boy. I, I can't. I didn't do it. I, I, I literally, I remember I was going to my barbershop. My barbershop was about four songs away. And about three and a half songs, I was like, this just isn't for me. I just, I get it. I understand. I'm not even saying he's not skilled. I don't care. Yeah, but I knew that a long oh, time no, ago. Oh, no, you know what? I tried one. There was one time we was on tour. He did another one. 
after the pregnant song. Come on and get to my age. <laughs> he did another music. <laughs> he after did the another. pregnant song. What no. was the next one after that, Josh? That next album? The he they dropped that night and we was boarding a plane and you used the old new Drake. I thought the pregnant one was the last one. Oh, it was honestly never mind because that's the one with the uh with the Meg the Stallion lyric. Turned on the Allegedly. first song. About 37 seconds in, I was like, you know what? I like the sound of plane. <laughs> I'm gonna just let this sweet listen, engine roar. Listen to this Rolls Royce on this 747. <laughs> this sound is much I just I haven't listened to it, so I don't know if there's anything good. Everybody's like, the J. Cole one is a, you know what? I did I, it. J. Cole, he dropped, a, he dropped a verse. This is the thing about J. Cole. I think that boy can rap. I don't prefer to listen to his music. He's very much so conscious rap to me, and Black Star is the last ones. Oh, wow. Nobody gets in after that. Black yeah. Star? <laughs> Boom. Was that Most Deaf in Black Thought? Uh, no, Most Deaf in Talib Kweli. Oh, Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. After that, J. Cole, you got to really listen to because he be really rapping, rapping. He was rapping about taxes. I was listening to uh, Kingdom. What was it? What King what? is the one with, uh, I sent you the song off it, The Pink, two, 2018. My homie said, shine your light on the world. King something, Josh. Oh, KOD. KOD. Be my age. Kev, Come you, on, Kevin. Kev, you crossed that 40, boy. You better be my age. Who is know what it is? Let me see the J. Cole. Let me see the J. Cole. I know it's Jermaine, isn't it? I know oh his father from. Oh my God! Let Kevin. me see what the J. Cole said. Let me. Kevin is oh oh oh. No, I got no, no, my nephew. This happened. I said King. My nephew yes. put it on my uh, phone for me. I don't know how you find it. Let me. I know Kevin always like to pick on me. Right. Kod. That's what it is. What is that talking about? The nineteen eighty five song, King of King of Diamonds. Is that what the Kod stand for? Nah, King of Dragons. King of Dragons. Drums. Is it an acronym? Or is there it was a couple of acronyms involved. There was uh, kids on drugs. Kod. Kids oh. on drugs. Kids on wow, drugs. that's sad. Well, in one of these songs, he was rapping about taxes. See, that's yeah. what I was like. That's what Brackets. I like. J. Yeah. Cole has the music that you got to listen to, not the music that you dance to, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. Okay, man. rest in peace, Uncle Phil, for, for real. real. <laughs> you was the only father that I ever knew. Huh? You can't throw something to that? What'd you say? You can't throw nothing to that? Uh, it's hard. It's a hard one. <laughs> I thought one. you could do it to anything. I can, but it's difficult. I thought okay? you could do it to that that uh, Billie Eilish song. Which one? First of all, that Billie Eilish Barbie song. They gonna get that girl every award available. What does it say? Oh, Angel. Ah. If you were I'm about to call that girl William Eilish. Angel, you know this Billie Eilish. Billie what was that made for? She is a girl. You know Billie Eilish? No, I don't. I was a Barbie. I was. Oh. Yeah. I was made for. They gonna hand that girl an Oscar, an Emmy. It sounds like white privilege. She, she might. Oh, she white might get. <laughs> she from LA. I'm a Is she? Boy girl. I didn't know that. I float when I walk. Listen. My hair blows in the wind. Is she blonde? Does she have blue eyes? <laughs> I don't have to yell because you listen to my cries. Barbie, Malibu, Barbie. Where's my Ken? Oh what is what is that? Is that what she look like? She is a white woman. She white looks like woman, a blonde. Yep. <laughs> I'm a blonde white woman. I'm so delicate. Snowflakes and mayonnaise. <laughs> anyway, voice. you can you voice. can just hand her the Oscar because not that many many movies came out anyway. Oh, that was in the Barbie movie. That was in the Barbie movie. They can just hand that Oscar over to her. Mm. They can go ahead and hand that Emmy over to her. Mm. Okay, I mean the Golden Globe over to her. Give it to her. Uh, she gonna produce a play and she gonna get that Tony. I think she actually won a Grammy. I think she sang a. Oh yeah, she'll get that. You got. Yeah, I think she sang a James Bond song. Oh, okay, she got that little. Is that how she always sounds? She be with. Nah, you know. Now listen, 
All jokes aside, that William Eilish can sing. I want to hear no, what she sound like girl, when she sang William sang. Eilish That's William Kevin. Eilish. This, is why you this, begin, how, this, when this is I, why you be getting blocked, Kevin. I don't care if she blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my song. Is she from here or is she from over there? I didn't know that until Josh said it. She's from over there? Over where? Is she from here? I don't know. I don't know. From tracking. America? Oh, yeah. yeah she's she from is. L.A. You know what? As I think about it, I don't think I've ever heard something where I was like, oh, she's singing, singing like that. Then why'd you just say that William Irish can sing? Why'd you say it? I don't know. She's Whisper McGee. She's what? She's Whisper McGee. So, oh, she'll be able to sing for the rest of her life because she's she, not going to blow listen, out the chords. Her vocal chords. She ain't never going to cancel the show. <laughs> she could never. She could have laryngitis. It's fine. <laughs> you know, I actually often think about that. How do artists, and I know. Uh, Put pitch it to your nose, nasal. What's that? They be putting that mask on. Uh, Come on, old man. I love it. Oh, today is old man Kevin. They put the mask they go on. on. The, the, I've been in the and background Nebulizer. of the scene. I don't Neb, they they, they want to sing good and protect I, their voice. Oh. They put the, uh, what is that thing called? In humidifier. See, uh, okay, we'll just They got a personal it. one. Uh -huh. they, they do that. But them, them people who sing hard every night. Uh, them Erica Campbells, them Tina Campbells. And don't miss a show. How? Jesus is in their throat. That's what it is. It's, yeah, the tomb. The the, where they rolled away the stone? The, right there. <laughs> the anointing is what keeps them. <laughs> all that. Screaming. <laughs> and not bleeding out on the stage. Anyway, we brought a, this up for uh, a Joe whisper girl. Drake. So Drake released his album and Joe Budden basically said he needs to grow up. This is a common sentiment. It's like Drake's the old nigga in the club now. Like he's rapping about like, oh, this girl dissed me and this and blah, blah, blah. But like the girls are 21 and 23. How old is Drake? 37. He he up there with us? Drake, I, I was surprised. Drake is up there with us. I want to say 37. I think it's 36, but yeah, 36. It's, it's right there. Oh, he just turned 36. 36. Oh my God. He is up there. And now listen, very many rappers don't really change their uh, subject matter mm -hmm. throughout their career. Yeah. Pusha T, he sells drugs. Yeah. Rick Ross, luxury rap. Yeah. Okay. Jay-Z sold drugs. I don't write my songs down. Rich, rich, rich. Until 443 when he was like, I'm a terrible husband, father. I made bad <laughs> property choices. I ain't going nowhere. Me and my wife ain't leaving. Yeah. It's very rare. Yeah. Think Fu the Future says F. Russell... Uh, uh, Wilson, Wilson and Lean. Future said he stopped doing Lean, but didn't stop rapping about it because because the, the because the money will keep coming in. Listen, the more he raps about Lean, this is actually terrible for my health, but for my music, it's fantastic. The problem is, it's four forty three or four forty four. Four forty four. You said four forty three. Come on, old friend. See. Yeah. What did Mister Carter say on the? What the I am hell so is happy going for on, this. man? Because I made my rap for my for my out? all deaf. I said I knew what I had at four forty three. So that I'm always called four forty three. That's oh what it was. man. All show is four forty four. Uh, you know, I wish that was all you. It, it's not even an act anymore. You're just oh, I you don't need the glasses. You just here, I sir. I like to look over them. <laughs> now, Mr. Carter, he released that album. He was talking about this and that. Yeah. So anyway, Joe Budden said that uh, about Drake. Basically, yeah. like, <laughs> all right, Drake. Also, though, in that same interview, Joe Budden did praise part of the album. Yeah, but who cares about that? That, that's Drake that's the funny missed part. That part. Yeah. <laughs> that's the funny part. Drake missed that part no. and heard what he wanted to hear. Oh, where did I put it? Hold on, let me find it. The screenshot. Yeah, I thought I put it in the chat. Of the comments, I'll, I'll find it real quick. <laughs> he he now he lit into him and I was like, dang. All jokes aside, that was funny. Let me see if I can find it on the shade room. That's where I saw it. <laughs> Speaking of the shade room, here we go. I found it. Drake says, Joe Budden, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter <laughs> give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check. And the raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty 
Okay, so E N Y C E. I've always said a Nietzsche. What what y'all say? Nice. I never I never said it really out loud. Nietzsche sounds Nietzsche? right. Okay. Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche jeans. I should make a video about that. <laughs> Screw up their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is the poster child of frustration and surrendering. You retired and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. <laughs> I mean, just so mean. We know you're doing this. We know you for doing this. You withdrew from rap, not because you accomplished it all. You need it because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in this generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. You need to put in simpler terms. I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions. I mean, now, listen, that last line, I said, first of all, that, now you don't come into my territory. I, I will sit on my only the 767 is a very expensive hey, place. Yes. That's a cargo 737 jet. is big. That's Southwest. 767, that's the international plane. It's got be two like, bedrooms nice. on that plane. Play nice. Play They've nice. They've been going at each other for years, though. This is and just, that, that comment was pent up. Oh, and the funniest thing about it, Joe Budden's retaliation <laughs> to that whole thing. Was you'll grow up sooner or later. Father time is undefeated. Because what else you going to do? What else you going to say? What else? Oh, man. Don't nobody want to hear another Joe Button song? Now, listen. The funny thing about this is somebody found a video was like, Drake, yeah, heard all that. But you was one of them 450 people at them shows and posted a video of Drake giving Joe Button his props coming out of the thing. And then an interview of Drake being like, I base my music on how Joe Budden raps. So I was like, I didn't know that. But Drake is a little sassy McSasserson. Oh yeah, Drake is gonna do whatever the hell he wants to. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I think what a lot of it is though is, there's a lot of people with a lot of opinions, yep. especially on the current state of music. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly us people in our age range and older <laughs> that be like, music is dead, trash. That's, listen. I be one of them old people a lot of the time, even if I'm adding to the trash, as they say. You're the one that destroyed the black community. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. But uh, Drake is going to, I've realized Drake is going to be Drake. For sure. Forever. He's, I, he's taking a break from music, though. I hope he goes back to acting. I feel like that that's his look. Listen, somebody on the Twitter said that he has been acting for the last 15 years. His biggest role is Drake. Mm -hmm. The character. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm -hmm. Did y'all see the, the skits that he did recently with some dude named Brandon? Did you see those? Uh, like taking your girl? Yeah. 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 He's done a lot of that stuff. Yeah. I thought that he was did, funny. It's funny. Drake is an amazing actor. Yeah, the great. one that he did from the stage and during the concert? Mm -hmm. Did you see that one? I didn't see that. Oh, so it they led up. So it was first the restaurant and him being like, oh, yeah, I know her from Canada. I'll see you and kissed her hand. Then... Uh, they did another one like it. Then the next one was him literally at the concert singing down to the girl. Oh, really? Yes, like in they. In real life? Yes, they did. Like, but it was a part of the sketch. They yeah. literally planned the sketch. I was like, now see, this is your calling. It's, he is an actor. He's this phenomenal. is brilliant. I would he enjoy should, that. If he took a break, and also he's a brilliant comedic actor. Yeah. Yeah, that's most, what I'm saying. Most rappers, uh, outside of maybe Queen Latifah, did a good amount of comedies, but most of them. Actually, Most Def in Brown Sugar is one of my favorite. Most Def is a phenomenal actor. Did, did you see him in uh, Dexter? No. He he low key he's the rapper Jeffrey Wright. If you ask me, yeah, he's no, good no, at no, the Italian great. job. But most rappers are like common. You know, they are like I'm gonna be serious or Ice Cube. Ice Cube is is Ice Cube in every role. Every single. Role. You know his greatest role to me. He's the villain in Ninja Turtles. Is it? That Ninja Turtles tickled me pink. I ain't seen no movies. Uh, me and my family seen everything that came out this summer. That doggone Ninja Turtles movie was a good time. I need to see Me and Melissa was like, is that Ice Cube? It was so him. Oh. It was so Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube I was like, Cube. I know that ain't. Let me go over IMDb. It, I can believe it. It was Ice Cube. Ice Cube is a good one. But anyway, uh, I think a break will be good. Yeah. I think you a lot of times an artist take a break. Go live your life. Mm -hmm. 
Because it experienced some new stuff. Uh, SZA went five years between albums. Kendrick Lamar basically became Martin in the Monk episode series arc. <laughs> I love it. And he released Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. It was a very introspective album. I, and there's a song on there that I love playing. I play it for my kids all the time. Mr. Um, of Kendrick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. J. Cole takes some time. And go live. J. Cole went and did a whole other career. He went and hooped. He said, I'm going to play basketball for a little bit. And then he came back. Looking like oh, Simba. Oh, that's the other thing that Joe Budden was saying. He was like, you should never have got J. Cole on your song. And you should never have let him go first. J. Cole was out here rapping like, and I know the rent ain't due, mm -hmm. but he rapped like it was due. And there was like rap now or <laughs> we're we taking kill it. Everybody. And that nigga, J. Cole, I said, oh, take it easy, man. And he said, I'm going to rap rap. But he always raps raps. Yeah, he he does. I don't it's think a, he it's has a another sport. Mode. It's literally a sport for him. He is good. I don't think there's another mode. That's why I said you actually have to listen. And sometimes I just don't want to listen. I just want to be like, ski. <laughs> and that's why you're breaking down the rap. That's why you're destroying the rap community. Quick aside, because you were saying there ain't no good music. And I made this video, but I want to tell y'all today. A new mixtape that I just picked up was on, Grill mixtape? Talk. Grill Talk? Pat yeah. Jr. He mixtape. in the stage crew. Pat Jr. Grill Talk Mixtape Volume 1. Oh, yes. Pick that up. He rapping, rapping. Let me just play you just one song. Is he it got like it. listen, listen to rap? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play Flagrant for you. Because he, he be rapping and then there's a rapper named Brittany Carter. It's explicit. It got a cuss in it or two. Oh, that's, that's fine, all right. You do it. This is Flagrant. <laughs> Destroying the black community, Angel. On to Cadillac, I learned from the words I bottled in. When I'm with my man's only time, I'm swallowing my pride up. From round the way, don't get me fired up. You Brittany Carter. Me, we get size up, baby. I'm a big dog. Use a little mud. Yeah, think you want my pedigree? Yeah, okay. All right, so that's Pat Jr. I think you might like Nick Grant, too. Okay, put me on. Uh, now, I'll, now I'll this. Uh, Joseph Solomon. Boy, let me play a little bit of this Joe Solomon. He's the one I be crying to on that Frank Ocean. Oh, shit. Don't sound like we're inside of his throat. <laughs> <laughs> he is like a crooner. He put us in there for us to listen from the inside. <laughs> Bigger, man. Like like That's Joseph Solomon. Yeah. All right. Stop it. I wonder how people get to that as their singing voice. I don't know. When they're like, ha, hmm, ha, yeah. Now, my favorite R&B singer coming out right now, Kenyon Dixon. This is my favorite song from him. I'll this is not on his newest album. His newest album, I'm actually is on. Is this Expectations? This is Expectations. This is, I love this song. This, ah! this is my talk. Give it to me. <laughs> Featuring Alex Isley. She's also amazing. This is just a vibe. 
perceptions and sunrise Forget everything, just say your mind run wild Ain't it a, just a good skating song? Come on, Kevin. <laughs> now, y'all didn't know this. I don't know if y'all knew this. But our girl, John Turn, he did more than I ever expected. Oh, yeah, yeah, Latoya yeah. Ruington done released this as a single. Ten minutes long. Ten? Ten minutes long. Ten. It's called E320, Latoya Ruington. Oh yeah, Masego is great. Hey! You better get a face in your feet. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your Come on, you're showing a lot. You're showing a lot. You're showing a lot. That's it. That's it. That's it. I want to say one more thing before we go. We didn't even get to the good part. Go ahead. Because we got to catch our breath. I we do, do got to catch our breath. How you this out? lady on TikTok. Abundantly. She, uh, she treats her pit bull with pure love. It's so gorgeous. The dog. She, she make the dog fresh steak. Yeah. Eggs. Potatoes. I believe this is whipped cream. She put lotion on the dog. She treats the dog with love. Mm -hmm. Boy, when I tell you, people take that TikTok content, put it on Twitter, and they destroy this woman. That's why she ain't got no man. She's a lesbian, apparently. That's why she ain't got no man. <laughs> why? Did, now, let me tell you what. Y'all must not know no black women with money with a dog. Because <laughs> I know one. <laughs> Y'all don't know black women. First of all, black women with money. Somebody tweeted this and it's so funny. He said black women with money spend it like drug dealers. Yes. Vacations, clothes, Come on. pets, Come on. life, hotels. Yeah. I told y'all when I was in Dubai, everywhere we was going, there was black women coming out of there. Uh huh. Every hotel, every museum, every experience, black women be breaded up. That's why Tyler Perry said there ain't no man for them because they're over here feeding the dog steak. The dog's plate looks gorgeous. It's not dog food. <laughs> she, she is just real giving food. it to a dog. Yeah. Her steak is perfect. Yeah. I looked at that and I said, first of all, <laughs> dang. He said, that steak wow. was. <laughs> Beat me. <laughs> Bow wow. I know somebody who makes dog food for regular pe people food. Every once in a while, Melissa just be like, I'm going to just make him something from... That's probably from when he work. be having that diarrhea. Don't he be, be, be doing the best. Oh, no, my Chicken, dog. Chicken, rice, vegetables. Melissa be like, I'm going to give him some amount. This is for him. And I look at her and we had this. That's, that's for Monty. Yeah, see, y'all got a black dog. I got a little nigga dog. <laughs> I give her... She's used to that dog food. I give her regular food, and then there's poop all in her crate. Yeah. <laughs> 
and she throwing up. She's like, give, give me, me the crap. Give me the stuff in the can. <laughs> give me the stuff that stay hard in my stomach, mama. Sunday, the black lab. She is the dog owner who who her dog wears costumes as a black look like a black city worker and bus driver. She takes all the, the wigs. All the wigs. Yeah. First of all, I I admire their relationship because Monty won't do none of the cute stuff. Yeah, Lottie won't let me dress her up either. Sunday be wearing wigs, little dog pants. She turns around at the camera. <laughs> yes. She be giving the dog baths. The dog had the shower on. She said she let the dog the shower. Just the dog be thinking the dog is me. <laughs> I will sit in the shower after I'm clean. I just sit there and ponder. Mm-hmm. And it be it's really sad because the men was upset. All all you was saying, don't nobody treat me this way. Right. And they, I would love. They want to be pampered like the dog. I want to see y'all ain't got nobody to make that food for you, put lotion on you, and brush your teeth. It's not happening. When I had Cali Boom Shikwa, my uh, <laughs> my Yorkie, Cali Boom Shikwa Tanksley, I we used to dress alike. I used to dress. I seen her. some of them dog yeah. content. I used to dress her like. Used to do her hair. She used to be treated really, really well. And then I had a child, and she got very jealous, and so she became an outside dog. And she looked like a rat. But prior to that, you gonna love Marcus, little oh, Marcus. After should. everything we've been, we used to dress a lot. He can't even hold his head up. Listen, she grounded my baby, and that was it for her. Oh yeah, I punted her across the room, <laughs> and that was it after that. That's the favorite part of Anchorman. <laughs> <laughs> when Jack Black takes his dog. Black now dog. this is happening. <laughs> yeah, boom. Yeah, that's literally that's what happened roll. to my poor little Yorkie. And then she was just like, I am she so sorry, her. mom. I had no idea. She greatly misunderstood the situation. Oh, yeah. She, she said, grabbed that, ba- that, that black baby. That black baby. And then was chewing up his shoes and stuff. And she was, <laughs> I bet you'll never learn to walk. <laughs> yes. oh. I said, you have lost your damn mind. You have lost your damn mind. Oh. You have forgotten your place, Cali Boom Shequa Tanksley, and I will put you there in your place. But prior to that, that baby, I carried a diaper bag for that dog. I'm telling you, black people with money. Oh, this yes. was ER. Was this around ER? It was, uh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> you had all them dreads. This before the strike. The residuals uh-huh. was coming in. Oh yeah, I was brushing a little teeth. I was getting a little eye boogers out every morning, and she would just. She used to get to sleep on in our bed. She was a very well kept dog Let, until she wasn't. That one growl and change. I know she sat there in that outside and was like, "Dang, bro, <laughs> I growled." The pit bull. <laughs> She's like, so we just out Oh, here? the pit bull had always been outside. Oh, yeah. Our big dogs are outside dogs. <laughs> the pit bull was like, now see? Yeah. Now you out here with me. She ain't mad at me. This is where I prefer <laughs> to be. She's mad at you. That's why you look like a river rat. That poor dog. I mean, that poor dog bed. owner. The dog? Callie was in the bed. But Callie really went outside. We She was pad, pee-pee pad trained. So she wasn't like out in nature. Oh, she first. peed in the pad too? Yeah, she was a pee and poop on the pad. We, she was a inside the house princess. Dang, princess, and then she was outside in. <laughs> she was in out there the, the in the elements. Yes, yeah, she was Simba. She ended up in Shadow Lands. The very wind blowing quickly. hard out here. Oh yeah, so people are like you better find shelter. <laughs> it's cold out here in the winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Supreme over there smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Told you not to growl like that dog. Uh, now you're here with the big dog. Yeah, there you I've go. been out here. I've been hardened and trained. Right. We you see rocks. these calluses right here on my paws? You're going to have to get some of those. This is, is going to eat your ass up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. listen, man, I'm telling you, get, get a black woman. They're the best. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, and then, you know, you have a million sperm. <laughs> get one from the church. You don't have to do anything. But you also, the dog does what it's supposed to do. That also helps. I dog. bet you that dog knows exactly what to do. The way that dog sat when he got the robe on, he didn't move and push at the robe. No. He waited. He knew when he was in frame and in focus and was like, I'll be right here. But see, then these men, though, they don't know how to stay in frame and focus. They go wandering their asses off. <laughs> all out of the shot. All over in somebody else's shot. You know what's funny about this? <laughs> so a woman posted this. And her caption was, this girl takes such good care of her pit bull his skin is like silk and he's adorable hard eye emoji woman posted this Mm -hmm. a black woman in the profile picture Mm -hmm. a black man responded and was like this is actually kind of sad tbh that means to be honest so the poster was like yeah it's kind of scary it's kind of scary so another black woman was like wait is it adorable is it scary and before she responds, she said, now, you know, when the men with them doo-doo draws come around, them big me stand up straight. 
It was just adorable to a man came and said it's it's scary. That's what I was saying when I said adorable. I mean, do you can you love me? It is scary. Please protect me from the scariness of this video, please. (laughs) And the funny thing about men with doo doo draws, there's literally a dude who did an outfit change, and he jumped his butt around, and it was doo doo in there. Oh no! And somebody paused the video. And it was like this your big age. Why are you wearing white drawers anyway? Bold, <laughs> bold. Because sometimes doo doo reappear. You done wiped and wiped. No, doo doo don't reappear. Doo doo comes back. No, then you're not dumb. You're not dumb. You're done. No. Sometimes when you sweat, doo doo comes back. No, then that means you're not wiping good enough. You, you wipe wipes. good. You need you, wipes. Uh, you use wipes. No, if doo doo comes, comes back, back doo doo comes back. Shit on yourself. That's no, that, you did. That's that forty. Y'all can say what y'all want. The doo doo came back. Are, and you, that, are you shit? Doo doo don't come back for Kev. Oh, huh? Doo doo don't come back for Kev. Then why are you trying to say doo doo comes back? Because when I, sometimes when I was little, it, it no, would that's because you were little. When you were little, you didn't know no better. But a grown ass man with a TikTok account. Angel, this thing. Let me show you. These are his draws, right? This is whole back. It was this. It was it was straight down. He had a booty uh, hole brown. No, he has a had a poop hawk, <laughs> like a fro hawk in his drawers. I said, no, nah, okay, maybe you didn't know, Mm-mm. but you don't review your own videos. I don't even let my eight year olds have crappy draws. That's it ends. It's ended. It's ended. Amar's not even. Amar, it's so funny because Amar thinks he can wipe his own butt. Sometimes he thinks he's grown, and I'm, I've told him multiple times. You don't get it good enough. You got to call me in here. So now <laughs> he he calls me. He'll be like, mommy, mommy. And if, if he's far away, I already know what it is. And then when I open the door, he is literally like this. <laughs> Sorry if y'all see my face. He's literally cheeks wide open. Now go ahead and do You want to sit, you want to be up in there, be up in there. But, that, but even he, as a child knows, we can't be having dookie crust. Dookie crust. Not in either. between your butt also, cheeks. Also, Mar was in them pictures. He done found himself. He saw him cool. I said, hold on. This is a new baby. Kai yeah, yeah. better watch out. Because uh-huh. Kai usually takes, the, he usually takes, you know, the uh, attention with, yes. the, with them eyes. Oh, Kai. Amar said, I'm little. Watch. Kai ain't trying to let go. Kai told my uh, mother, asked him, I said this on me and Mark's podcast. Somebody asked him, my mom or my aunt, said, describe yourself in school. He was like, I'm smart, I'm funny, and I'm hot. I said... They said, did you say hot? He said, yes. I said, you and, got that. Nobody right. better tell him different. I said, you dang on right. You hot, period. Hot boy. He's like, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, real quick, this ain't in the document at all, and we got to go. I watched this oh, David God. Beckham documentary, the majority of it, fully a- unaware of how big he was. Or they were in England. Oh yeah, I oh, he fully was, wasn't aware. He's their brawn. He is the man. Didn't know he he had a red card in the, in a World Cup. Mm. England hated him. Didn't know he got basically sent to Real Madrid when he was in his prime. Didn't know how much he loved Victoria Beckham. First three episodes, he used to I used to drive four hours just to spend twenty minutes with her. I couldn't play right when she wasn't around. I said, this man really loves this woman. Episode four, <laughs> cheated. David Beckham cheated. David, I well, said, man David, the three whole episodes, it was nothing but love. He, he went to Spain for one season. Bent it like Beckham. Come on. Sorry. Come on. That's right. You was doing the bending. <laughs> you was doing the bending. Oh, you was, he was doing, doing the, the bending. Bend. He was doing the bending. Went to Spain for one season and she couldn't come immediately because uh, the kids was in school. And he was like, well. That David now, that's a fine white man. He was, go- he was going to that church. This nigga is universally attractive. All the other soccer players in there are like, David Beckham, muy bonito, muy guapo, you handsome, you beautiful. This nigga is gorgeous. Yes, well, come on now. Whiteness. Yeah. I said, this man's closet, I posted it. His closet is made of dreams. Of course, yeah. Suits, he, yeah. shirts. Yeah. Draws. He put yeah. Calvin Klein on the map like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Jeans. Yeah. Big old hue. I said, oh my God. I want, I mean, the man, tangible CD, I would say. Mm-hmm. He got his t shirts laid out, layered, so he could see what's under there. I'm sure someone else is doing that for him. Nah, he, he got to tense that OCD. He said he goes around at night, cleans out the candle wick because he don't like the smoke rings That's when while people are asleep. are wealthy and have time. He went in the closet, Angel. 
his jeans cause he said someone's been in here because one hanger was up he ain't never had to rush he lays his outfits out for the week on a rack inside his bathroom i rush out the shower i'm gonna tell you my problem then we really gotta go no matter how late i'm running when i get in that shower 20 minutes <laughs> you said I, i'm gonna be in it here it doesn't matter i'm like kev you really got seven minutes i'll be in there oh like rush and then at the end no don't let me close <laughs> <one more laughs> Come on. i don't wanna hurt anymore why i be in there just thinking sitting on the ground the and then when i get out time starts back again yes he ain't never just went through and grabbed the socks fast no no i listen me trying to get dressed is what destroys my room every, every time it's, it, melissa's same way if that first outfit don't work out, Tasmanian Devil's in the closet. That's I don't have no clothes. <laughs> I had a whole different outfit picked out. Couldn't find the shirt to go with it. And I ended up making my kids 30 minutes late to school. That's because what happens. Of it, to end up in this. That's Take why I be pants and, and graphic tee. Mm -mm, no. I, don't, I can't imagine laying out seven outfits for the week. And we live in a, in a weather place where you really could do that. We don't have surprise weather like that. Yeah. That man had, it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right, we finna go. Patreon, Ball and the Beautiful coming up after this. And uh, Jen and Juice also after this. And Angel, we gotta figure out what to do. So God bless you, God keep you. We'll see you at the count. Bye. There's another thing I fuck for you. There's another one. There's another thing I fuck you. There's another one. There's another thing I fuck you. Uh, uh, uh. Here's another thing of fire uh. With my boy Kevin on stage And that chick angel